Hi everybody, it's Poppy. I got uh, three batteries hooked up. I'm going to charge two off of one. As you can see, there's two batteries that are almost identical. One is uh, 12.19 and one is 12.18. And the middle one is 12.49. Now that's these three batteries, the little child's car battery, the worker battery is the one that will be used to run the machine and then the motorcycle battery is the one being charged also. So we have two charged batteries, one run battery. It's a single transistor unit. Now the motorcycle battery will be charged from generator coils and I rewound these things the uh, this one right here is the uh, trigger and run coil it has 800 turns for the run 400 for the trigger now the rest of them the other three still have the 800 on what would normally be the run coil which is hooked up to the other run coil parallel and then the trigger coils I have increased to 1000 turns so I have 1000 turns on the uh, trigger side and I've got those running in series to a full wave rectifier and into the batteries now if we watch the batteries charge, I don't know if we can see this one or not, this one over here there, it's 1220 on the motorcycle battery, we're showing 1220, 1219 on the run battery, and we're at 1220 on the other charged battery. I just wanted to see if there was any difference in using the generator coils or the normal output. And so far, we're about the same because it uh, started out, this one over here was 1219, so we're at 1220. This one started out at 1218, and we're now at 1220. So it's just slightly faster on the charge from the full wave rectifier. We'll have to keep an eye on it, see what it does. And then I'll measure all the batteries again after they've had a chance to rest because all the voltages I took at the beginning were all resting voltages. And now this one on the motorcycle battery looks like it's trying to jump up to 12.21. Yep. And the child's battery is still staying at 12.20. So it looks like we might be getting more charge from the generator coils and the full wave rectifier than we are the uh, output of the Daffman Bedini motor. And again, just a standard single transistor tip 31. I've got three 100 ohm resistors in parallel giving me about uh, 33 ohms of resistance. I've got two diodes in parallel to the output and one in the input and then of course we have the uh, neon bulb. One trigger coil and uh, four run coils and they're all in parallel. And then on the generator coils, which are the three facing away from me, they all have 1,000 turns on the trigger side, which is now the generator coil. So we got three generator coils with 1,000 wraps each. And let's check the voltage one more time, and then I'm going to shut this off and let it run a little bit. And we're 1221 on the motorcycle battery. It's showing 12, 12, dropping down to 12, 11 on the worker battery, and the child's car battery is still 
hanging in there at 12.20. I'll put some more voltages in the post. Good experimenting.